Of course not. I just told you, God is everywhere. God is even in your head. Well, I have a question. After you went up to space 25 years ago, didn't you want to go back again? And wasn't it hard to resume normal life after that high point? Well, Olivia, when I got back from space, we were up there for eight days and worked really hard, and I was really tired. So I was kind of glad to come back, but then you have to decide what to do next, because I wasn't a real astronaut. I was a scientist on board the space shuttle, and I got to fly in space all right, but it isn't my job to fly in space. So I had to decide what to do next, and I decided to do what I've been doing right along. I've been doing experiments, just like Barnabas. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of today's Bible story about the road to Emmaus. About this whole wheat story, actually. It does? Yeah. So what is normal life? Anyway. Was the woman at the well's life, or the blind man's life, before meeting Jesus, was that normal? Or was their life after they met Jesus what was normal? It kind of depends on your point of view. Ah, I think it must be the new normal. Just like we have a new expanded event horizon around here now. Well, whether it's normal or not, we know it's what Jesus wants for all of us. He wants our lives to be full, to be full of love, and to be lived out in His loving arms. That's right, kids. So grab each other one more time. I know. And look around. This vacation Bible school experiment doesn't have to be a once a summer thing. You can take this feeling of fun and connection to others through Jesus right out the door and into the rest of your life. There's no telling where it will stop. Uh-oh, I feel something funny going on here. I think it's expanded again because of you. Over here. Over here.